Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Python 3.7 on Windows. But even though I'm installing Python 3.7, this should work for future versions of Python as well. So you can hover over downloads here on the Python website, python.org, and you can either click on this button here which will give you the latest version of Python in an executable, or you can click on Windows and get something more specific either x86 or x86-64. There's no practical difference between the two. So if you click on x86 executable, you'll get the 32-bit version and x86-64, the 64-bit. If you don't know, just click on the 32-bit version and you'll get downloads here. The one on the left is 32-bit, the one on the right is 64-bit. Let's go ahead and install the 32-bit. Before you click install now, I know you're in a rush to install, make sure you click on add Python 3.7 to path. But I'm actually going to leave it unclicked for all the people who just ignore that and install. And I'll show you the problem that that causes. So this is going to install Python. And it only takes a moment, it's not the biggest program. And when it's done installing, it's going to install two programs for you to use. It's going to install a Python interpreter, which is a command line program, which you'll see in a moment, and also something called idle, which you can use to write code and run Python scripts. Okay, so setup was successful, I can close. So now I want to look at what was installed. So if I go to Python here, I'll see two things, idle, and Python 3.7. These two are just links. So if I click idle, it's gonna open up idle for me. Here's something where I can write code if I wanted to. And then also it installs a Python interpreter that looks like this. So now what you want to test is the ability to use it from your command prompt. So open up the command prompt, just type CMD in search and then click on the first result and then type the word Python here. If you get this message, Python is not recognized as an internal or external command, then you have to add Python to your path. So what you wanna do is type in path and then it's gonna give you this edit the system environment variables. And you wanna click on the environment variables button down here. And then you're gonna add the path to this section here for your user variables. So what you want to do is you want to find out what the path is. And to do that, you can use your Python interpreter. So what you wanna type is import OS and then import SYS. And then you want to type os.path.d I R N A N M E dir name open parenthesis S Y S dot executable and then close parenthesis and hit enter. And this is going to give you the location that Python was installed. So let me just go ahead and copy this and put it into a text editor. I'll remove the extra slashes. So each slash comes in pairs. Just remove the extra one and then add another slash at the end, and then copy this, do the same, but add scripts at the end of one, and then a trailing backward slash. So these are the two things you're going to add to your path. Edit this. New here, you're gonna add in the two things that you just did. So you see how I have Python 37-32 down here, just click OK, OK, OK. And then I'll exit out of this and start it up again. And then when I type Python, we see the interpreter appears. And to exit out of it, just type exit with an open and close parenthesis. And then to see if you have pip installed, just type PIP. And then you should see all that to verify that it is installed. So installing Python is that simple, but if you click on that path when you first go to install, then you don't have to worry about all that extra stuff that I did. So don't rush to the installation and forget to click um, the path checkbox. Otherwise you have to edit the environment variables like I did. So I hope that helped you and I hope that gets you started with Python. Thanks for watching this video.